guys. I never posted the first video that I made, so I think I'm just going to post them back to back. I finished my 30 day uh, no Instagram cleanse, but I have some thought on it. First, I want to start by saying I don't think I'm going to re-download Instagram. I feel like I don't really need it in my life, so I have no real reason to download it except if I want to post pictures or something, which I do still have the urge to do. It's not outweighing um, not having it. The other thing is, I thought cleansing my life with social media was going to be a super life-changing event. I thought my anxieties were going to go away. I thought I was going to be happier. I thought I was going to care less about how I looked. I thought I was going to care less about taking pictures. I thought I was going to live more in the moment. And I don't know, I can't say for certain if that's true. I'm sure it did positively impact my life, at least a little bit. I also deleted Snapchat. And I've had Snapchat deleted for a while. In my other video, I said I deleted Facebook, but I ended up re-downloading it, and now I don't. I'll de deactivate it for a few days and then re-down, unactivate it. I'm, I'm on Facebook less, but I haven't completely deleted it. I think I was looking at this cleanse of social media to try to solve all my problems. I was trying to cleanse myself, but I don't think social media media cleanse can really do that. I still am anxious all the time. I still check my phone all the time. I still wake up in the middle of the night to check my phone even though I don't really have. Even though I don't have social media to check, but I still get worried if people are going to text me. I think just having a smartphone, maybe if I deleted, like got rid of my smartphone and just cut off all contact with anyone, I would feel less stressed. But that's not how I should live life. I shouldn't live life just avoiding people. That's messed up. Or like, I even thought about blocking people I was stressed about getting text messages from. That doesn't seem right. I think social media is an alleyway for stress like that. I don't even know if I'm saying that makes sense. I think at anyone, I'm gonna ref I'm gonna retract a little bit. I think everyone should try to go on a social media cleanse because I think we're more dependent on it than we think we are. And you don't really notice until you don't have it anymore. Like I didn't notice that I like always want to post pictures and like look at myself and like get likes or whatever. I think it made me look at, if I ever get Instagram back, it'll make me look at it differently because I know that likes and comments don't matter and they don't really mean anything. And if I want, but I know if I re-download it, it's just going to be that I want people to see me having a good time. Like I, and not, like everyone obviously uses Instagram for different reasons, but that's just how I feel I was using it. I would say everyone should try to delete social media, but I would also say that it's not going to solve all your problems like other people made it seem. Like, the Yes Theory video where the guy is waking up early and he's going running and he's journaling and he's whatever. That's because he had a conscious effort to do those things. Not because he deleted social media. Like, he does have more free time, but it's not... Ca causation does not imply causation. What's that? Economic causal Causation. Correlation does not imply causation. Him deleting the social media did not make him happier. Him focusing on other aspects of his life made him happier. I think if I want to be happier, I also have to focus on other aspects of my life. I can't just delete social media and think that all my problems are going to be solved. But I also, I kind of like being off the grid in a selfish way. I feel like it's mysterious. Like, I like when people are like, oh, you delete your Instagram. I feel cool. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I like being the person who doesn't have social media. And, like, when I delete Facebook also and I, like, really don't have social media, it's like, no one can know who I am unless you, like, really know me, which I think is cool. Because there's some... Those were some thoughts, so I made it 30 days. I'll post the intro video, and I'll post this video, obviously. Or, I guess if I'm posting this video, I'll probably already posted the intro video. And I might post the vlog, but I really stopped vlogging at some point. I was a lot happier in the vlog than I am now, also, because I started the social media cleanse when I was on a break from school. I was with my family, and I was just, like, not stressed. And I was, like, focusing on myself and doing whatever. And now I'm back in school. Back in Cambridge. I don't know if this video made any sense at all, but concluding thoughts, I'm going to keep Instagram and Snapchat deleted. Snapchat I haven't made 30 days yet, but it's probably like another week or two, and maybe I'll delete Facebook again, but really I just need to focus on aspects of my life. I need to meditate. I need to go running every once in a while. I can't just sit here and think all my problems are going to go away by deleting Instagram because that is not reality. Also, th this video may be super boring, and if you made it this far, I appreciate you. But also, I feel like it's more therapeutic for me to talk about my thoughts about this. So if you don't get anything from this video, you thought it was a waste of time to listen. I, I understand.
<laughs> okay, bye.